Hello everybody, it's me, Lindsay Star. I'd like to share some wrestling news for you guys today. And this is just a sh I don't know how long this video will take, but understand uh, where I'm coming from. So, anyway. So, what's going on within the news today? Well, first of all, I want to give a little congratulations to Miss Ember Moon. The former Athena Reese, I think. Uh, has got married over the weekend and to her long-time boyfriend and uh, Matthew Palmer. They got married over the weekend in Las Vegas and I want to congratulate her, her on, for her marriage and I hope her and Matthew Hopefully, stay much together. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm looking through the personal. <laughs> I think she's under. F yep. No, actually, yeah. The former Athena got married. A, a, <laughs> and I think Matthew Palmer is also a uh, independent pro wrestler. There, so I want. So, like I said, uh, congratulations to both of them. Um, of course, the wedding was attended by her, their close friends, um, Jessica Havoc and Jason Cade. Actually, I think they're her friends. Anyway, so congratulations to Miss Ember Moon. Now, on to, uh, on to WWE slash, uh, yeah, I'll say this. Addressing WWE NXT slash Evolves Weekend situation, apparently, according to uh, WWN, actually, more actually more precisely, I had got this information from Kevin Gill, Curtis, who got this off from Gabe Spilowski, and since the Evolve Twitter account is tweeting about this, and I will pull this up from WWN. Uh, not that WWN! Jesus, Jesus Louise! Ah, there it is. Oh, I should just search for. Ah, uh, shoot. Did you do that? Search WWN Live. Okay, according to WWNLive.com, apparently it's been announced on their website and also for the involved weekend who oh, joyful apparently current NXT superstar and f also better known by most of the independent scene the man known as Cassius Ono or Chris Hero is returning to evolve off even though this says coming to evolve, actually it's more he's returning to evolve. <laughs> <coughs> and not to mention, he's also coming to evolve of this weekend and next month in December. Though I'm begging Gabe Spolowski to book him versus his, versus his student, former student, Tim Donst. So... So we could have a little evolve. We could have a little bit of NXT versus. Can I say this? AW Brawl. I mean, come on, yeah. It's it's Chris. It's danced. It's a it's a hot spot. <laughs> I shouldn't say hot spot. <laughs> okay. I know you guys are wondering what does hot spot mean. Hang on.
Apparently, apparently this is going to be a little bit more of a weird situation. Apparently, it's been revealed that uh, since after what happened, the last evolve of sh show, which it reveals of of the evolved champion Fabian Archer, and he's scheduled to have matches. Yes, but the one match is gonna put 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 the. Uh, Fabian into an ultimate right, thing that even though it shouldn't happen in on NXT, but this is having him involved, my folks, my friends. Apparently, Fabian. Oh, what the criminy is going on! Random idiots, okay. <laughs> Apparently, I have the information right in front of me. Apparently, Fabian Archer is putting up the is going to put up the evolved title against the man who can who has been evolved champion before. In other words, Fabian Archer, you have to defeat Cash as well, no. Or from for the wrestling fans and so our independent wrestling fans Mr. Flavian not that you're gonna get your butt kicked by Chris Hero because that man ain't nothing to deal with <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my mouth calm of course also the Street Profits who also won at the last as the Vol Show, they're defending their tag titles against the the uh, WWN champion JD Drake and his tag partner Anthony Henry. And oh wow, this is more of the Evolve card as I'm reading this. Not in the third main event, we are having in a wow. It's WWE versus Impact. I don't know, but I know. Uh, I don't know if he still is and still working with if Impact, but I don't think they are. He is anymore. But who knows? Anyway, it is Mustafa Ali, who, by the way, had wrestled against Chris Hero. I just can't remember where. Holy. He's facing against the man they know as DJ Z, Azema Ion, who's also, who is a friend of Linda Chris Hero. Uh, apparently, we also have other matches, including grudge match with a stipulation to be determined. That is A.R. Fox with his wife Isla and the Skulk who will be teaming who we will be facing off against Austin Theory with Priscilla Kelly. We have a four-way freestyle of Harlem Bravado, Jason Kincaid, Aid, uh, Josh Briggs, and Leon Ruff. Oh boy. And if... And if... By all means, necessarily, if the match goes crazy, the next night it is going to be more insane. If, and that means if, if Fabian Archer retains it, he's he's going to wrestle against Anthony Henry, non-title, no, no. However, if Chris wins, he's putting up the vault title against the man who just chided the tweet and says he's challenging him. He'll be the first time ever dream match as Chris Hero will be taken on against Shane Strickland. Holy vey. Also, WWN Championship Triple Threat Match will be JD Drake versus will defend in the title against Austin Theory who will be with Priscilla Kelly and Harlan Bravado. Oh. And apparently if 
And apparently, if the Street Profits retain the tag titles, they will be going up against and A.R. Fox and Leon Ruff of, which is gonna get crazy. See. Also, we have Freelance Championship match: Aesis Velcaraz versus GPA. Jason Kincaid versus Josh Briggs, and apparently for both shows, which has not been announced, it's Barrett Brown and others will be added, which is going to get crazy. And when I mean crazy, it's going to get crazy. So yes, the blue collar bad boy, J.D. Drake, who wants the uh, title, who, no, he'll will be in out of vault this weekend, but also. Will be a NXT superstars Phoebe and Archer, who has the evolved title, will be facing off his fellow NXT a superstar slash the man who has won the evolved title. Oh, oh, oh! And Chris Hero, and yes, the Street Profits. As Montel Ford and Angelo Dawkins will be in action. And apparently that the next ones after that, since this has been announced, the knockout artists will be will be there on December 15th and December 16th. Right before his birthday. Which is Christmas Eve. Please do not ask me about that. Okay? And yes, if you guys want to hear more, want more information, I'll put down day to day and live. And apparently, if you guys want to see all the shows, um, you go to right to um, come into Club Day Day and which is apparently you can, or you can watch it on Roku, Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, Apple AirPlay. Google Chromecast and of course the Facebook Club WWN. I'll try to figure out how to look into this, but I don't know. Anyway, and of course there is one more other thing. Give me just one moment. And finally, I want to just let you guys know that, um... Whoa! Jeez. Alright, so anyway. Our, the final news I wanted to show you guys is, um... Last weekend was apparently AIW, who has been, um... Had a show called... Which is actually, I guess, a convention called Rubber City Con. And apparently, uh, this is really much of a shocker to explain, but uh, there were a lot of matches happened. And the one match that I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be talking about, and anybody who has a Twitter account and tweeting the crap out of Randy Orton. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because his father, the legendary cowboy Bob Orton, um, had a match. And apparently, according to, uh, Russell and Chia's, shout out to them for providing the results, um, from... Yeah, it was from over the weekend, which is November 3rd. Uh, jeez. Give me a little bit of a minute. Apparently, according to Wrestling Chairs, and yes, these are spoilers from Reddit, Rubber City Con, uh, it was, I guess it was supposed to be a, a match, but it looks like it was a handicap match with Jock Samson, Sin, 
uh, Mates Warner, and apparently the man, the wrestler, and manager called himself the Duke. We're wrestling against. Oh! Sorry about the phone turning it off. Um, wrestling against and uh, Pretty Boy Smooth, who is, by the way, is a student of NXT Super Stars uh, Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae. And his tag, and uh, Smooth teamed up with apparently his tag partner, or Swaggle, the man formerly known as Horswaggle. Oh, oh, of the <laughs> Apparently, Bob Orton decides to be involved in this match, and it was turned into a six-man tag, which apparently the uh, Horns, apparently, uh, Swaggle, uh, uh, Pretty Boy Smooth, and Bob Orton won them, won the ta won the six-man tag team match. So, there were other matches happen, including, um, let's see, there was, um, There was a match starting off with the for the women. Uh Faye Jackson took on against Miss Allison K slash Sienna. When she's in and uh when she was wrestling in the Impact Wrestling. Um which apparently Allison K had defeated uh, uh, Faye Jackson, and that's one spoiler. Another spoiler. Ha the next spoiler for this one for for the Rubber City uh, Con had um, a whoa a one two three four five six way six way match with uh, the Don Donovan. Says Donovan Al, Lynn, Lynn, boy, I can't say, read that right. Um, Tom Quanto, who's been trained by uh, Dominic Garini and Eric Ryan, and who's currently two of the trainers who I know of. Of probably, well, I know Garini's in charge, I think, for AIW wrestling school now um Pat Monix uh of course we uh Wheeler Utah um Bob and it's also Bobberly, Bobber, Bobby Beverly and uh Zach Thomas this and it looks like Zach Thomas won the match. And apparently uh <laughs> apparently uh another sort another student of Johnny Gargano and Candice Ray, uh Daniel Sil Rockingham and took on against Shark Boy, who was replacing Gilbert, and uh, Rockingham defeated him. Uh, and of course, there was the Six Men. They had a little intermission, and there were other matches, including yes, including two titles were put up online. My uh, <laughs> my wrestling squeeze. I don't know why he's saying that. I'm going to get in trouble. My wrestling squeeze. <laughs> um, Tim Dons put up the intense title against uh, <sighs> Matthew Justice. But um, there was controversy. Because the scheduled ref got knocked out. 
out, and somebody came out. Matthew Justice won, but however, this it says here. However, the scheduled ref Dave Dawson had DQ Matthew Justice, and Tim Dalton is still the AIW Intense Champion, and apparently Matthew Justice challenged him. And for the intense title, had hell on earth fourteen and. This is going to be so weird. Um, Eddie Kingston, son of Eddie Kingston, who has been on Impact Act for a while, um, he showed up and defeated the uh, Dominic Garini. And he, oh, and by the way, even though Garini is the trainer. I think I don't know if he's the head trainer. Or, I don't. Know. He's the tra he's. I believe he's the head trainer for uh, AIW. But he has, even though he has been trained in uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but he's considered to be one of Johnny Gargano and Kenosori's students. So, yeah. Uh, there are other matches too, and apparently, of course, the main event, at which apparently, Tracy Williams retains the uh, absolute championship from Joshua Bishop. Up, and <laughs> that's in the match. Uh, Dominique Garmini attacks Joshua Bishop, and. Tracy go volunteer off with him. <laughs> I mean, there are other matches too, but I'm just summarizing this whole entire craziness. If you guys want to see, um, if you guys want to know a lot what's going on, I highly recommend the following wrestling tiers on Twitter. I'll make sure to link them. Also, link uh, uh, WWN Live for the Evolve Weekend and. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this vi vlog video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please hit that like button down below. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure notifications are definitely turned on. And also, if you guys want me to, if you guys want to want me to talk about more wrestling, let me know down in the comments. Um. Anyway, that's much I can say. Um. Anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then. Bye. <sighs> if you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe here. And also, check out my last video or whatever I put it down to let YouTube see, give you the recommendations. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Okay. Bye for now.